Hello Taurus, welcome to another love reading. And this love reading will be looking at your person, the person you're thinking about, we're connecting with at this time. What are they thinking, feeling about you? What are their energies towards you? And what do they wish they could tell you in this moment, maybe that they haven't told you? And we'll possibly look at their intentions as well. So let's jump right into the reading for Taurus. Spirit angels, guys, what messages do you have for Taurus regarding the person they are thinking about or connecting with at this time? What does Taurus need to know about this individual? What is this person thinking, feeling when it comes to Taurus or this connection? Let's look at this person's overall energy towards you first. Okay. Wow, judgment. That's a pretty big energy to come out first because judgment is to me it's one of the most important major arcanas it's the arcana right before the world so judgment is like that last step before you're ready to close out a cycle and start something else start a new chapter and judgment is all about looking back so you're looking back at all of your lessons, mistakes, <laughs> all of the things that you've experienced in your journey, and you're getting awareness about it, you are um, awakening and getting, you know, realizations about what led you to this moment. Judgment is also about revival, resurrecting something that was maybe laying dormant, and now you're resurrecting, bringing it back to life as you can see in this card. Um, so if this is in your person's energy, it could be a few things. Maybe they're having a lot of realizations about your history together. Maybe they're having an awakening um, about their past mistakes, regrets when it comes to you or this connection. Uh, maybe they've gone through some karmic cycles um, or it could also be that they want uh, a second chance with you, a second chance for this connection. Let's see, let's get some clarity. Spirit, tell me about judgment. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about judgment? What do we need to know about judgment for Taurus. Wow, the Four of Wands. Four of Wands is like a rite of passage, domestic bliss, a happy home. You're celebrating something new or something um, that's very stable. I feel like this person, um, whoever they are, Taurus, I think they're looking back at the past and are craving this Four of Wands energy, stability, happiness, peace. The Four of Wands is about having harmony in your home, in your life. Um, and I feel like this is what they're thinking about right now. How can they have harmony? How can they have happiness and peace once more? They could also be thinking, you know, if there this is a revival of your connection, if this is a second chance that they want with you, they want things to start off on the right foot. They're ready for that next step with you. I feel like if there was someone coming back for a second chance, it's with the intention of having a four of wands type of relationship. It wouldn't be someone that's coming back just to play around, for example, or waste your time. Tell me more about judgment. Taurus. Tell me more about judgment. This is this person's overall energy towards you. Wow, the Ace of Cups. Oh, yeah. They're having realizations about your connection. What, whatever is happening here, it's with the intent of having a new beginning in love, a new start in love. Yeah, and the Page of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. So this is someone that's willing to take initiative, willing to take risks kind of interested, excited, um, motivated. The Page of Wands is a little less mature than the Knight of Wands. They kind of just want to get out there. They don't really think too much. They just kind of want to get out there and do it. So it could be that this person is motivated by whatever they're realizing or learning here when it comes to you. Let's get some energy oracles out there or out here. <laughs> I'm going to use the Stellar Energy um, Oracle Deck, the second edition. This is not available just yet. 
um, but it will be available soon. It'll look a little different than what you see here. The card back design is changing, but the front of the cards will remain the same for the most part. What's this person's overall energy towards Taurus, towards this connection spirit? What's their overall energy? Victory lap, success, recognition, triumph. You're being recognized and admired for your success. I feel like this person, that's what they want. They want victory with you. They want success. Um, they're thinking big, whoever this is. Um, they're thinking big, dreaming big. What else do we need to know about this person's energies towards Taurus? Happy ending. Oh, yeah. Whoever this... And again, it's very similar to the cards that have already come out. Um, you have... Let me read this for those that are curious. You have achieved absolute happiness and fulfillment. So this is somebody that feels like they've hit the jackpot. They are getting their happy ending, reminding me here of the Four of Wands. They have victory, success with you. Um, you know, this is someone that's very motivated, Taurus, on a new beginning, a new start. Second chances is at the bottom of the deck here. So I feel like this person is thinking about resurrecting, uh, reviving this connection. Maybe um, this connection started off on the wrong foot, or maybe there has been a separation already in the past or, or issues between you let me put this back here let's get some ever afters by the way for those of you that are interested in entering the giveaway i will be linking both of these decks separately in the description box so you can look at pictures photos um to determine which one you want if some of you are like unsure all right spirit tell me about the overall energy of this person that is thinking, uh, feeling, or has energies towards Taurus at this time. What are their energies towards Taurus? This person's energies towards Taurus. This one. Found slipper. Opportunity. Lucky break. Serendipity. Yeah, so this person is seeing an opportunity where they can kind of have success with you. You know, a lucky break. A... a a chance something must have happened here where um they see the opportunity of a second chance with you and let me know if this is resonating for you taurus in the comments i would love to hear if this is resonating for you all right what else what else can you tell us spirit about this person's energies towards taurus love spell new love passion infatuation and Taurus, you know, this could be somebody that maybe you never had a connection with in the past. Maybe you were childhood friends. Maybe they never shot their shot. <laughs> maybe this was something that started off as a fling long ago. Um, I see this, you know, being interpreted in many ways. It doesn't necessarily have to be someone that you had a terrible history with. new love lucky break again it's someone that's very optimistic for a new beginning with you bottom of the deck is mirror mirror illusions ego insecurity well it could be that they're maybe a little too optimistic but i can also see that this person um, maybe they've been a bit insecure about you know this connection actually being something they can attain sometimes People can feel insecure and let in insecurities and their own ego keep them from what they truly want. I just smelled something. What was that? It was like uh, trees. I don't have anything that smells like trees in here. It was very like pungent. <laughs> you could be dealing with someone that works outside, something to do with like a forest, a garden. that's relevant for someone watching because otherwise why would i just be randomly smelling trees <laughs> it's just weird and it's like forest trees that kind of pine smell anyway um so let's look at what this person wishes they could tell you spirit what does this person wish they could tell taurus at this time what messages do they have for taurus what do they wish they could tell taurus nine of wands so the nine of wands is like the wounded soldier they've been through a lot um really bruised up 
guarded defensive. Oh, the Queen of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. So I'm getting the message for some of you that this person understands why you have such a hard, cold front, why you're so guarded against them, why you might not trust them. But I'm also getting that this person, they want to be honest about their difficulties, whatever difficulties they've experienced. That's for those of you that are, might be dealing with someone that had some sort of a karmic um, lesson because judgment is here. You know, this could be someone's reward for a karmic lesson. But let's see, what do we need to know about this Nine of Wands? What do they have to tell Taurus regarding this Nine of Wands? The Knight of Cups. This could be an apology, saying that they care about you, have feelings for you. What else do we need to know? Ten of Pentacles. Again with like the lofty goals. Um, I think this person wants to reassure you that they're serious about you. Um, that they're not playing around. I feel like their intentions are to have something long term. Maybe potentially a marriage or a long term commitment with you. Because the Ten of Pentacles and the Four of Wands are here. So some of you could be, um, this could be a, a situation where your person understands um, a situation that they put you in. You know, they understand why you're reacting to them in a certain way or why you would feel a certain way. And they kind of want to talk about that. But for others of you, I feel like this person has gone through something difficult on their own. And is still thinking about a new opportunity in love. That's kind of like their next um, dream. You know, it's like what they're picturing envisioning for their future and you're involved there somehow let's get some ps i love you's to get some insight into what they're thinking feeling spirit what is in this person's heart space what are they thinking feeling when it comes to taurus or this connection what are they thinking feeling when it comes to taurus or this connection other half so they're thinking that you are someone that matches their energy someone that they could see themselves with you see eye to eye on a lot of things they are your person your other half they complete you in a way what else what else do we need to know about this person's thoughts feelings what's in their heart space when it comes to taurus every time i want to reach out something stops me Okay, so they've been wanting to communicate with you. They just haven't been able to. Something is stopping them. Bottom of the deck is I wish I could tell you how I feel. Yeah, I feel like this person has been wanting to express themselves to you. Ah. What else? One more spirit. What is in this person's heart space when it comes to Taurus? What are their thoughts, feelings towards Taurus? Taking charge. That's reminding me of that night, uh, not night, page of wands that came out, you know, someone taking initiative, wanting to get out there. Um, I feel like this person wants to take charge of the situation. Maybe they feel it's, you know, it, it's time, right? Like it's time for me to tell Taurus how I feel with this Knight of Cups. What is this person's intentions for the future spirit? What are their intentions for the future when it comes to Taurus? What are their intentions for the future? Wow, the Nine of Cups, to get their wish granted. Again, very optimistic, very positive. This is someone that's dreaming. They're dreaming big. Okay. What are this person's intentions? Okay, Nine of Swords. Interesting. This person might, I think that's why it, the ego and insecurity came up. Because this person is dreaming big, wanting to revive something, have a second chance at love. They wanna take charge, they wanna share how they feel, but I think they're insecure. They're insecure and it's causing them to kind of wait around with the three of wands here at the bottom of the deck. 
you know they they I, I feel like it's safer for them to dream than it is to take charge and fail every time they want to reach out something stops them it's that insecurity that fear that anxiety with the nine of swords what else do we need to know about this nine of cups and the nine of swords Spirit, what else do we need to know about this nine of cups and the nine of swords the two of cups wow yeah despite the fact that to them this would be i feel a wish granted um to have this connection with you taurus for some reason this person um you are a dream you are you you, sim you symbolize a dream fulfilled now the eight of wands is here so i feel like this person is kind of a little touch and go i feel like they uh they work up the courage to to reach out and then their fear stops them or their insecurity stops them this person has not told you how they felt this is not someone that i feel you have in ongoing connection with i feel like this person they're, they're maybe they're awaiting with found slipper here they're infatuated they they're passionate they're motivated but they're almost like waiting for the perfect time i need to wait for the perfect time to have this ace of cups four of wands ten of pentacles two of cups with taurus like that would be my happy ending um like this person is like really they're, they're they're very they're they're i feel like they're manifesting you big time they're infatuated with you but also with the idea of being with you of the type of partnership you and them would have because there's, there's something special here it's a it's a wish granted for them you know So I feel like at this time, they're still kind of waiting for that aha, lucky break. It's almost like they're waiting for um, like fate to step in. But it's not that they don't want to, they don't want to talk. It's not that they don't want to take action. They're just holding back. Wow, the tower after the high priestess. They're holding back their feelings at this time. That could change in the future. But for right now, when I'm tapping into this person's energy, I feel like they're they're a bit guarded here. Maybe that nine of wands is them being a little bit guarded. Maybe they've been hurt in love. Maybe they've they have a lot to make up for. There's many reasons why someone would be guarded or why you would be guarded against them, but something's definitely stopping them from reaching out. So that's what I have for you, Taurus. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading all about your person and what they're thinking or feeling. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the reading, don't forget to also hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you and I will see you on another video very soon. Take care.